Hello everybody. I'm back again already. I have wonderful news for from about Pastor Dave. I'm going to read Christie's um update, okay? All right, that's his wife. Now I'm going to mute the music, okay, and read it as it goes along. All right. So she says, thank you all for the continued prayers and support. We need to keep praying. Here's why. Dave was on the ventilator for 14 days. On Sunday, I was told to start thinking about what to do. If he did not come off the vent, and breathe on his own. I was told that the only option would be a tracheostomy. And she put a page up that says yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> and she said he would have a hole in his neck to his windpipe. Have you ever seen anybody cover their hole so they could talk something like this? That's what it would mean for him. She says, no, I refused to accept that outcome. And prayed for him to be strong and breathe on his own. You were all praying for him as well. Thank you, everybody that prayed. Yesterday, the vent came out. And he is breathing on his own. <laughs> Give Jesus a big hand clap. Praise the Lord. That's a miracle for Dave. All right. The nurses and I have talked. Two, the nurses I have talked to, oh, the nurses I have talked to cannot believe it. <laughs> she shows a lady with her mouth wide open like, oh, I can't believe it. They didn't expect him to improve this rapidly. Today they will evaluate his kidneys to see if he can come off the dialysis. I am believing in another miracle for his kidneys. So now we got to pray for his kidneys to completely do what they're supposed to do on their own. She says, I want my husband to come home. He will need a lot of aftercare to build and regain his strength. Yes, he will. He will probably go from the hospital to a rehab hospital. That's how they do it around here. For those of you that don't know, Pastor Dave had a colon resection to remove a large cancerous tumor and surrounding lymph nodes. Thank you, Jesus. It was discovered that the cancer had not spread. It was stage two and they removed it all. Praise the Lord. He will not need chemo. While in the hospital, recovering from surgery, an abscess and leak developed in the at the surgical site. This caused a blood infection called sepsis. Sepsis causes organ failure and can be fatal. I have to tell you folks, it usually is. And he had to have an emergency surgery. His intestine had to be rerouted with a temporary 
ileostomy to allow the large colon to heal. This can be reversed when he is strong enough and well enough. Thank you again to all who have been praying and those who have reached out. I am so touched by all of your support. Love to all of you. Oh, that was the end of it. So that is a miracle. I mean, that's two miracles. First of all, well, let's go back. I want the link to that so people can have it. Okay. This is Pastor Dave's channel, The Coming Harpazzo. He, for those of you who might be new to my channel and haven't seen the other Pastor Dave, Pray for Pastor Dave videos, he does a... a he doesn't only get on YouTube and, and teach or preach. He also has a homeless ministry where whatever money he gets donated to his channel, he spends it on like toiletries and blankets. It's up in Michigan. So up there, they have a lot more cold weather than down here where I live. So I imagine they buy a lot of blankets, long underwear, socks, gloves, whatever they can get. And they probably go to every thrift store they can, I would imagine. But the point is, he has a homeless ministry. And somehow they get him food, too. I don't know. I, I don't know how, what all he is involved in. But that's his, that's what he does all the time, besides get on YouTube. So, um, let us continue praying for him. It's going to be a while before he gets to go back out there and help them. I'm glad it's summertime. At least they don't need, you know, like new coats and blankets and gloves and stuff like that that wear out as quickly in the summer as winter. You know, if he had to have this, I'm glad it was now for their sake, for the homeless people's sake, because I have a heart for the homeless, and I wish I could do something for the homeless besides just when we collect up food around here. I, I clean out my cupboards and give whatever I can that they, well, it's actually for a food pantry. And I guess they can go there and get food they don't have to cook. So a lot of that pre-prepared stuff is good for them. So I'll end it with that. And I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over Pastor Dave. For total and complete healing. I plead the blood of Jesus over Christy. And ask Lord that you give her continued strength and faith in this time of trial. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. So nothing keeps it from going up. Because this man needs lots of prayers. And I know people have been praying for him. Because this is amazing. That he recovered from the sepsis. And now we're praying for kidney function. Okay. Normal kidney function. So he doesn't have to go have dialysis two or three times a week. And that's very weakening to your system. Some people do quite well with it. But others not so much. Okay, so I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you and all your devices and your internet connections. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.